वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट आरसीएम टाइप वन बट दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आरसीएम ओनली एंड ओनली एस पर सेक्शन फाइव थ्री ऑफ आईजीएसटी एक्ट रेड अलोंग विथ नोटिफिकेशन नंबर टेन बार 2017 आईटी रेट अवर फोकस विल बी ओनली एंड ओनली ऑन इंटरस्टेट सप्लाइज नाउ व्हाई इज इट सो बिकॉज फ्रेंड्स हियर द फोकस इज ओनली ऑन इंपोर्ट ऑफ सर्विसेज when i tell import of services friends it is very 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 clear or very evident that it is interstate supply so you won't have corresponding entries there are two entries here you won't have corresponding entries in section 93 of cgst at read along with notification number 13 bar 2017 ct rate for a very simple reason that these import of entries are always interstate supply therefore the presence in section 93 is not at all required so focus is only on uh, section 53 of igst act now when we talk about normal import of services <coughs> what are we talking about the service can be any service category of service can be any service supplier should be a person who is located in non taxable territory that is outside india recipient should be a person who is located in taxable territory but other than non taxable online recipient a very important point but other than non taxable online recipient so recipient we are not talking about uh, non taxable online recipient other than non taxable online recipient now you may wonder what is this uh, non taxable online recipient friends when you talk about this non taxable online recipient means this non taxable online recipient is only for uh, against a particular service called as oidr services only if you are uh, receiving oidr services the recipient can be called as non taxable online recipient now when you talk about non taxable online recipient is a person who is receiving oidr services who is receiving o online information and database access and retrieval services plus he is either a government body government or local authority or governmental authority or individual or any other unregistered person where the services received for purpose other than commerce industry or business of a profession which means uh, the receipt of service is not for business profession or commerce or industry for personal use the recipient is either government or local authority or governmental authority or individual or any other unregistered person and they are receiving the services not in relation to commerce industry or business or profession which means they are receiving the services for personal use for personal use what type of services oidr services now what is governmental authority here governmental authority friends uh, means uh, and body or an authority set up by an act of parliament or state legislature or established by government either it is set up by an act of uh, parliament or state legislature or it is established by government where 90 percentage or more equity or control is with government and what is the purpose of them they are formed for the purpose of doing panchayat related functions article 243g municipality related functions article 243 w so governmental authority governmental authority means it is either set up by an act of parliament or state legislature or it is established by government important point 90 percentage control or equity is with government another important point they are going to do only two basic functions two basic works either panchayat related works as per article 243g or municipality related works as per article 243w so that is governmental authority now as i discuss this non taxable online recipient is only those persons who are receiving oidr services it becomes very important for us to understand what is meant by oidr services online information and database access and retrieval services we have been discussing this term a number of times and a simple definition that i have given till now is nothing but automated online services you are getting the services online automated no human intervention no human intervention now oidr services means services whose delivery is by way of information technology and it is not possible to ensure in the absence of information technology you are getting that service by way of information technology and they insist they are focusing on that point so much that they are telling that if at all information technology is not there you cannot get that service the service is delivered only and only because of information technology tech and if that tech is not there you cannot even think of receiving it first important point second the nature of such services is such that it is essentially automated you will find those services automatically that you will get those services automatically that without any human intervention or with minimum human human intervention now if i give the examples see two important points are there it backed up services automated 
presence of information technology automated lot of examples i can start with the example of your facebook uh, your twitter uh, your netflix uh, your amazon prime all these all the apps on the mobile phone where you are, whether you are talking about ludo game or uh, any other game that you are playing on phones uh, all the apps not only the games all the apps are automated first understand that these the apps is not possible without information technology second they are automated so when you are clicking on something it is not that there is some opposite person who is doing some coding it is automated coding is already given it is automated very hum minimum human intervention means if there is a technical problem there may be an human inter human intervention but other than that there is no human intervention it is all automated so i can keep on giving the examples uh, your cloud services google drive is nothing but other example of your uh, oidr services or your backblaze uh, any type of uh, software your uh, bunny cdn where again uh, data is stored online when we are sending the online classes it is stored on bunny cdn a very similar uh, thing to google drive where you can access the classes so it is all automated it is all automated it is with the help of information technology plus it is automated two points it plus automated now examples can be your uh, online advertisements these are the example online advertisements like fa on for facebook cloud services like uh, google drive ebooks movies uh, your amazon uh, uh, netflix or Am amazon prime on netflix etc music uh, geo savan app software other intangibles uh, providing or uh, data or retrieving the data or otherwise digital content including uh, music tv shows and movies digital data storage online gaming these are all examples the examples will go on two important points it is uh, possible only 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 with the help of information technology second it is automated which means net is there which means it is all way way of net right now now when you talk about crux of this import of services i can make this crux in a very very simple manner now first of all you have to when you are talking about import of services you have to categorize into three but now we are only seeing two parts the third part we will be seeing on the next page import of services import of services first let us talk about oidr services and other services other services when it is oidr services uh, if the recipient is non taxable online recipient which means it is either government or local authority or governmental authority or individual or unregistered person plus non business use and you are talking about others we are talking about others here understand that for oidr services it is very 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 special point very special point now if it is to non taxable online recipient then friends uh, then friends gst is under forward charge mechanism that is supplier itself will pay tax now who is the supplier supplier is oidr uh, supplier who is located in non taxable territory you are talking about a foreign person paying taxes if the recipient is other than uh, non taxable online recipient then gst will be paid by the recipient under reverse charge mechanism so when you talk about your oidars services a very crucial point if the recipient is non taxable online recipient if the recipient is if the recipient is non taxable online recipient then it is under forward charge mechanism means which means supplier who which is outside india will pay tax if the recipient is others other than ntor then it is normal category reverse charge mechanism recipient of india recipient in india will pay the tax now other services when you talk about other services if the recipient again the same category we don't call it as non ntor now if the recipient is either government or local authority or governmental authority or individual plus non business purposes very similar but here you don't use ntor nt or non taxable online recipient is used only ntor ntor is used only in relation to online information and database access and retrieval services here the recipient is government or local authority or governmental authority or individual plus non business use plus non business use exempt gst itself is not there other services others categories if the recipient are others the recipient are others then don't worry even if the recipient are others there are few notified services there are few notified services which are exempt balance services 
balance services are taxable there are still few notified services which are exempt which are exempt only and only balance services are balance services are taxable under reverse charge mechanism where where your recipient will pay the tax so here only and only in a scenario where your recipient is others category your recipient is others category and you are talking about other than notified services only then gst is there under reverse charge mechanism but if i tell your recipient is uh, government or local authority or government uh, governmental authority or individual plus for non business use then there is no gst then there is no gst even if i tell that even if i tell that you are talking about uh, notified services even if i tell that you are talking about notified services now what are notified services you have to see this is pending what are notified services we have to see this is pending but if it is notified services even then it is exempt if the recipient is government local authority governmental authority or individual plus non business purposes exempt if the recipient is others even the notified services it is exempt only if you are talking about balance other than notified services it is taxable under reverse charge mechanism now what are these notified services what are these notified services which are still exempt these notified services are a scenario where you are talking about services received by section 12 a category services are received by charitable or religious trust under section 12 a of income tax act for the purpose of charitable activities exempt if the services received by whom charitable trust or religious trust under section 12 a for the purpose of charitable activities exempt if you are talking about online journals or periodicals received by educational institution which type of educational institution category b educational institution where you are talking about providing a qualification recognized by law for the time being in force so you are talking about again you are seeing what online journals and periodicals you are seeing you are seeing online journals and periodicals by whom recipient is educational institution not any educational institution which is providing a qualification recognized by law for the time being in force we call it as category b category b educational institution third by a service provider in non taxable territory recipient is also in non taxable territory provider is also in non taxable territory recipient is also in non taxable territory it is exempt but this exemption will not be applicable for the point that we are going to see in some time transportation of goods by vessel in case of import of goods that we are going to see in some time so that is a special point forget about that so first exemption is recipient is section 12a category charitable activities second exemption is uh, recipient is educational institution category b that is for providing a qualification recognized by indian law and it is receiving online journals and periodicals third is provider non taxable territory recipient non taxable territory exempt but this will not be applicable there is no exemption this will not be applicable exemption will not be there means gst will be there for for a particular service transportation of goods by vessel at the time of import of goods next you are talking about royalty or license fees import of royalty or license fees uh, if at all that royalty or license fees is included in customs valuation if the royalty and if the, if the import of royalty and license fees is already included in the customs valuation then it is exempted if it is not included in customs valuation it is taxable if the import of royalty and license fees that you are importing along with the goods is already included in customs valuation it is already added, added along with the import of goods then no need to pay it separately if it is not added then then there is no exemption you have to pay next you are talking about services uh, uh, received by rbi from where from outside india supplier is outside india recipient is rbi in relation to management of foreign exchange reserves supplier outside india recipient rbi in relation to management of foreign exchange reserves next ones you are talking about united nations or specified the services received by united nations or specified international organization for official use united nations or international organization for official use or if the import is by foreign diplomatic mission or consular post in india or diplomatic agents or carrier consular officers either the diplomatic missions or the consular post in india or the officers therein who will be the officers therein diplomatic agents or carrier consular officers therein if they are receiving the services uh, subject to satisfaction of specified services there are subject to satisfaction of specified conditions here they can receive these uh, services either for business purposes or for personal purposes in this category either for official use or for either for 
official use or for personal use both are covered right now these are all the notified categories where import of services still exempt when it is exempt no case no need of rcm what are the categories to receipt by 12 double a charitable activities receipt by educational institution category b which is there for providing qualification recognized by indian law online journals and periodicals then provider outside india recipient outside india exempt exception is transportation of goods by vessel at the time of import of goods that is not exempt next is royalty license fees if at all that is already included in customs valuation at the time of import of goods if not included no exemption you have to pay next is receipt by rbi supply provided by outside india in relation to management of foreign exchanges next was united nations or international organizations they are receiving it suppliers outside india they are receiving it for official use next is your uh, foreign diplomatic missions or carrier uh, post to consular post in india or diplomatic agents or carrier consular officers in india whether it is for official use or for personal use subject to certain specified conditions uh, it is uh, exempt these are all the notified services so this chart this chart is more than sufficient for you to understand what is the taxation of this import of services now friends uh, there is one more entry for importation of services that is in relation to transportation of goods by vessel that is in relation to transportation of goods by vessel at the time of import of goods at the time of import of goods so you are talking about importing the goods in vessel and you are talking about transportation service our focus is on transportation services now what is the category of service friends the category of services transportation services transportation services transportation of goods services it should be by vessel at the time of import of goods uh, where is the supplier supplier is located in non taxable territory who is the recipient recipient is the importer who has to pay the tax recipient is the importer who has to pay the tax now let us for this category see rcm along with that exemption combination rcm along with that exemption combination if i tell that transportation services received at the time of uh, importation of uh, goods uh, if uh, the shipping line if the supplier if the shipping line supplier is nothing but the shipping line if the shipping line it's uh, of indian shipping line then it is taxable under fcm if the shipping line is foreign shipping line outside india even then it is exempt if you are talking about uh, importer being government local authority or government authority or individual plus non business purposes exempt the shipping is foreign shipping line and it is not covered by this category the importer is not a government or a local authority or governmental authority or individual uh, and uh, it is for business purposes or it is for business purposes then friends it is taxable under reverse charge mechanism importer will pay gst now let us understand this and close this particular point understand that the goods are being imported the goods are being imported the goods are being imported let us assume that the goods are imported import of goods is there import of goods import of goods is there in this scenario let us assume that import of goods is there in indian shipping line indian shipping line now the importer who is the importer here the importer here is a uh, government or local authority or governmental authority governmental authority <laughs> or you are talking about individual plus non business use now understand that understand that for the purpose of import of goods on import of goods on import of goods on import of goods importer will pay customs duty importer will pay customs duty on freight services freight services of uh, when you talk about uh, freight services paid to indian shipping line freight services paid to indian shipping line freight services freight services there will be gst there will be gst let me take in this way on import of goods on import of goods there will be customs duty on uh, freight services there will be gst there will be gst and friends understand that this customs duty will be paid by 
will be paid by importer and this gst will be paid by will be paid by indian shipping line forward charge mechanism customs duty is always paid by importer but you don't call it as reverse charge mechanism right now if i tell importer is others category even then the answer will remain the same even then the answer will remain the same if it is say indian shipping line even then the answer will remain the same on import of goods that will be customs duty importer will pay importer will pay customs duty on the freight services are paid to indian shipping line that will be gst which will be paid by indian shipping line under forward charge mechanism forward charge mechanism there will be a side difference when you talk about uh, customs duty when the importer is uh, uh, individual plus non business uh, plus non business use it is called as baggage so there will be a slight difference in terms of customs duty but not allowed now it is in terms of uh, customs duty it is in terms of customs duty so here it does not makes any difference here it does not makes any difference but friends if i tell that there is import of goods if i tell that there is import of goods by way of foreign shipping line i'm changing this only change change is foreign shipping line in foreign shipping line importer first category is uh, your government local authority governmental authority individual plus non business use here importer is others category now friends it will make a difference it will make a difference now friends if at all you are talking about importer being a foreign shipping line on import of goods no difference on import of goods obviously no difference you have to pay customs duty so on on import of goods there is no difference one has to pay importer has to pay importer has to pay customs duty so there is no difference whatsoever when you are talking about on import of goods you have to uh, the importer has to pay customs duty when importer is paying customs duty he will pay on cost insurance and freight freight is already there he will pay on cost insurance and freight so on freight already customs duty is paid in all the cases he will pay on uh, customs duty on cost insurance freight he will pay customs duty on cost insurance freight freight is all already there he will pay customs duty on cost insurance plus freight he'll pay customs duty on cost insurance plus freight now whenever gst is there gst we are only talking about freight amount it is only on freight amount now when import is by foreign shipping line and the recipient happens to be government local authority governmental authority or individual for non business use gst on freight portion will not be there but if the import or is other than government local authority or governmental authority uh, with non businesses if it is not covered there then friends gst will be there on freight on freight and this importer has to pay this importer has to pay this importer has to pay this is called a special rcm this is called a special rcm friends the difference lies only and only with respect to your gst on freight if it is foreign shipping line if it is foreign shipping line and if the recipient is government local authority governmental authority individual non business use then no gst except if it is foreign shipping line and you are talking about others categories importer then importer always in all the cases he'll pay customs duty on caf but now he will addition also pay gst on freight amount again customs duty is already on cost incident price again he will pay gst on freight amount again rcm but don't worry he can take the credit he is eligible for credit rcm always pay cash reserve one hand he will get the credit in other hand but that will impact the working capital for sure right but if it is indian shipping line friends indian shipping line any category whether importer is government local authority or governmental authority or individual or whether importer is uh, others category the moment i tell if it is indian shipping line the moment i tell it is indian shipping line don't don't see the category 
GST will be clearly there under forward charge mechanism. No exemption. No exemption, no RCM, forward charge. If it is Indian shipping line, no need of categorization, GST under GST under forward charge mechanism in both the cases. If it is foreign shipping line, in one category it is exempt, in other category it is under RCM, special RCM, importer will pay. So that is all about your uh, import of services, category 1 as well as your category 2.